Fortnite has officially given us one of the easiest mythics you can ever grab while playing the game, even easier than the Dragon Ball mythics in the past. All you have to do to grab one of these is take yourself to an alteration altar. Now all of these locations of where these altars are, as far as we're aware, are here on the map with three of them being at Reality Falls. On top of that as well, they also show on the map when you're close to one in proximity with this icon here, you can also see it on your mini map. You can only see this, however, if you're close to it. If you're not close to it, you won't be able to see it at all. So right now, I'm going towards the altar. The altar is the little center part, not the entire platform. All you have to do is stand on it and then go to your emote wheel and then do the ritual, just like they're asking here, and you will end up summoning one of these in game. Be very vulnerable while doing this. So I highly recommend either throwing a portal bunker here or building around it while you do this in an actual game. And just to make sure that you can in fact throw a port a bunker on one of these while it's on the island, you in fact cannot. So you probably want to throw it around this area because otherwise it will glitch into the ground. Hopefully just covering wherever your biggest area is where people can hit you from as it will go into the ground. This mythic has a total of three different abilities that you can do. You can activate your wolf scent, you can slash, and you can also air slash. To air slash, all you have to do is jump twice in the air and it will lunge you forward, very similar to Wolverine's mythic. Now this does not just double up as an attack, it also works great for rotations. If you're far away from zone and you need to rotate fast, you're gonna wanna be using this item. Do note as well, you can use this wolf slash attack to also launch yourself upwards in the air. So if you are in a build fight with someone, note how high I am up here. If I wanna get even higher up in the air, I can launch myself to the point of taking fall damage. So this is just for the YouTube shorts. But you can not only use this for fantastic rotations, not just as an attack to push towards people, but you can also use this in a build fight. Say for example, if you're in a build fight and you wanna get height really, really easily, all you have to do is look upwards and you can gain that much height really, really fast. Do note this does take away from your stamina bar, so this can hurt you. You can also use your standard slash, which works very similar to Wolverine's baseline attack that we used to have. All you have to do is tap your fire key or your trigger key, whatever does damage while you're facing an enemy. Now the damage this does isn't the most fantastic damage in the world. And then on top of that as well, it destroys builds very, very easily. As we see here with the air slash, it destroys it in one shot and standard walls are destroyed in a single slice. So this does 150 damage to structures. Therefore to brick, which has 300 health, it takes two shots to break and metal, which has 500 health, it takes four shots to break. Now this doesn't work the best when trying to exploit in or trying to use a ramp to phase through as when you hit that double jump to go through, you lunge forward and the lunge kind of cancels out. Now you can kind of phase through by spamming it, but you only inch forward a tiny bit into the box and you're not gonna be lunging forward in the box how you would expect. The best approach to this is probably hitting it to its closest low health as possible and then pulling out your builds and using it like an OP pickaxe rather than an exploit. The last ability we have here is Wolf Scent. Wolf Scent is an ability that works like a scan. So similar to a recon scanner or an other game similar to a Bloodhound scan or a Seer scan. So if an enemy is behind something and you can't see them, and you activate your scan, it will show them. And this works through the walls as well. It's very easy then to pre-fire people if you can see them through walls. And I think this is gonna be one of the most useful items or mythics that we've ever had purely for the rotations and the destructions of walls as well as the scans. This mythic as well glows in the air when it is currently down. So it's really easy to find one if someone has decided to not pick it up. Do note as well, this mythic does give you mats when you farm, but I am in battle labs, so your multiplier won't be that high. So if you don't wanna pull out your pickaxe and you just wanna farm with it, you can do so. So I thought there's no better way to test this item out than other than getting in an actual game here. So it's pretty highly contested. No matter where you land at the moment, I mean, everyone is going for the mythic. So we're gonna be trying to rotate to this one on the back side of Sleepy Sound, whatever the new location name is. Trying to steal the one of whoever gets the one on the back side here. So first things first, we just gotta hit this slurp truck here. Give me that juicy shield. All right, I'm juiced. That's some mega juice. I'm hopefully gonna find a decent shotgun here. Now I did spot a prime across the way, but I don't think swimming out in the middle of the water is gonna be my wisest choice here. Also experiencing a lot of frame issues right now as well, which is quite weird, because normally I don't have frame issues for Fortnite. All right, we got ourselves an Evo Chrome shotgun. And I actually really like this shotgun, but the green rarity isn't great. And if someone's got a Ranger or a Prime shotgun, it's very, very easy for me to die. And ourselves a pumpkin rocket launcher here. Oh, it's a very scuffed fight. Woo! 
And we hit that RPG shot. Nice. And we got ourselves a helmet. Exactly what I wanted. Now, right, let's hit the scam real quick. Need to make sure there's no one around me. Alright, there's no one around me because the scan didn't pick anyone up. Ooh. Scan's coming in very nice here. Too bad my shot's not fantastic. <laughs> See if there's a better shotgun down here real quick before we rotate in towards where those other people are. Oh, I am going to have to take the gold prime here today. I do think I need to do that extra damage in fights. What was that? Want to see something cool? Look at this, ready? Oh, I wasn't reloaded. I thought I was reloaded. Oh, we got to go for the wolf kill here, right? Ooh. That's pretty nice. That's pretty, pretty nice. I don't mind that at all. That was very scuffed. It feels um really really hard. Are they gonna eat that chicken? Oh, the chickens are savages. It feels really really nice using the scan and the slash ability, but using the slash and then switching to a weapon mid air, it takes a little bit of a long time. So unless you're on like mega height falling, don't think it's gonna be worth it. Hey. Don't be scary, Mr. Zombie. Why is the zombie trying to jump scare me? Oh. Now, the one thing about the scan, it stops you moving when you do it. So you don't really want to be hitting the scan right in front of people. You want to be doing it in cover or within builds, I'm pretty sure. All right, can you hit the launch into the zip line? You can. I like it. Now I'll take that better hammer. Why not? It's really handy how the game like pings that new stuff for you. So you can see it before you can even see it. This is going to be good in zero build mode as well. If someone's hiding in a bush near you, it's just going to make it that much easier to like see where someone is. What we have here, we got a witch, ghost, we have some candy, trick or treat, some jelly bean and candy corn. So I'm pretty sure the candy corn just heals standard white health. Ooh, that's some thermal vision here. Going to have a, a mint run faster here as well. I forget what the pretzel does. Oh, pretzel zero point? Look at this. Look how many abilities you have right now. <laughs> oh, I'm all candied out, dude. See a zombie chicken. They're a little bit terrifying. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to throw one on someone and get a win with it. I think that'd be funny. Zombie chicken win. Oh, the blimps moved over here and tilted. Really, dude? <laughs> really? I feel like I died of fall damage, but I wasn't even that high up. What happened there? GG's. You know, not bad for someone who's pretty crusty at Fortnite, who only gets to play the game like once a week, I don't think. Not, not at all. Before you get up on out here, if this video has helped you out in any shape or form, really appreciate it if you can leave it with a like rating, subscribe down below. It really does help the channel grow. And for someone who puts a lot of time and effort into videos, it does mean a lot to me. Anyway, thank you for watching. Use code Oni. Catch you guys on the flip side. Goodbye.